Hey guys, it's Ochaye. So I got another MIDI controller and the beauty of this one. I didn't exactly wait to do an unboxing video. I couldn't wait because oh my god, my hand been they scratch me. So I'm gonna do an unboxing here, show you what it comes with. It's actually the MVAV SMK25 MIDI controller keyboard. Let's go. Okay guys, so in the box you have of course usb midi cable um and then you have your user manual and then for the main the main the reason why we are here this is a beautiful midi controller let me show you this happens to be a rechargeable midi controller and has bluetooth functionalities so this can connect with your mobile phone and with your pc or mac and of course you can make music wirelessly isn't that interesting so this comes with eight physical pads uh but 16 pads in total because it has a, a b switch where you can switch let me show you so this is one to eight and you can switch to 9 to 16 which is really interesting and same thing goes with the knobs you have eight physical knobs but you have a knob button here a knob b button that switches from 1 to 8 to um, 9 to 16 right and of course this also comes with the touch mod wheel and the touch pitch bend which personally i find really useful <laughs> yeah it also comes with the octave plus and minus buttons and of course your transport buttons every single part and knobs here are assignable so pretty much you can assign them to anything you want on your door i mean anything anything and of course here you have your sustain pedal jack and of course your power button and your usb input and right here you have your 25 velocity sensitive keys and oh yeah i forgot the pads are also velocity sensitive fully velocity sensitive so that's one thing to have in mind so let's go ahead and hook this boy up so we can see what it does so guys i've hooked this up and it's currently running without usb so I have tried to hook this up on my Mac and wirelessly I realized that you need a couple of softwares to make it work wirelessly with Bluetooth and of course to make it work on your phone you need a couple of softwares. So just so I don't make this video too long I'm going to do another video to break down every single software you need. So I'm going to tell you guys every software you need to make this work wirelessly. So right now I've connected it to USB just so we can use it in this video. I'm going to go ahead and load up a software instrument. Okay guys, so I'm in Logic and I've hooked this up. So, oh, that's loud. So, it feels really good. I mean, for a keyboard of this price range, Depending on your area, you might get this for around a hundred dollars. Um, feels good. Of course, you can use this to cut keys, like <laughs> full keyboard work. But I mean, you can use this to do some synth work. You can also use this to do some, basically your on-the-go production. Let's like say you have to travel or you have a gig somewhere and you can't take your full gears. You can just go with your computer, your PC, and this gets the job done. So let's look at the parts. I feel good. And of course the knobs. And yes, before I forget, let's test the pitch bend. 
and then for synth. So the pitch bend always returns to zero once you you let it go. It always returns to zero like your regular pitch bend. The modulation wheel will stay in whatever value you leave it until you use your fingers and bring it down. So that's what, something to have in mind. The transport knobs don't work automatically. You have to assign them in your software depending on which software you use. And of course, this also has a pedal function, so you can do stuff like this. Pretty cool. So that'll be all in this video, guys. Thank you for staying till the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.